So here's the thing. <laughs> First of all, this shot of me is arguably the best shot of myself that I have ever put on the internet. But as well as that, when I say that it is hot on the Gold Coast at the moment, it is so freaking hot on the Gold Coast at the moment. Good morning, my beautiful friends, and welcome back to another video. I hope you have been keeping very well. Summer has well and truly arrived in Queensland and to celebrate a Queensland summer's day, today I will not be leaving the house. The thing is that sometimes you just really know what you need and today I need to make some really yummy food, stay at home all day, do some housework, catch up on a little bit of work, and hang out with you guys. That was pretty much just a long-winded way of me telling you that I'm gonna show you what I eat in a day at home in today's video. And first thing is first, and I'm gonna start my day with a very refreshing juice. So I love juice so much. I'm one of those people who like goes to a cafe and is willing to pay $10 for a juice. And especially in the summer months, I just love having a juice before breakfast. I feel like it is just such a refreshing way to start the day and I really, really enjoy it. And as well as that, for my birthday recently, my friends Bonnie and Em got me a juicer for my birthday and I'm finally trying it out today and there is honestly just nothing better than the combination of orange and lemon together like I love citrus so much so I really love having days like today where I commit to spending time at home and not only do I commit to spending time in the kitchen and making really yummy and nourishing foods which is one of my favorite mindful things to do is to cook as well as that I love committing to like cleaning my space and tidying my space and just resetting myself for the week ahead so that I just feel so much better going into a new week this way I can fully just relax and enjoy my weekend um, and yeah feel good after having a good day to my Myself. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm not feeling super hungry for breakfast yet So I'm just gonna get into doing a bit of housework and do a little bit of work as well Because I need to record a voiceover and then upload a video So I'm gonna get into doing some of that now and then I will catch you when it is time for us to make breakfast and Breakfast today is going to be so iconic. Well, if the recipe that I'm planning on <laughs> Making works out. It is going to be so iconic. So watch this space Okay, so editing is done. Video is uploading. Space is looking nice and clean. We love to see it. And that means that it is officially time to make some breakfast. And this morning for breakfast, I'm going to make some lemon crepes. So my intention with these crepes is to try making some gluten-free buckwheat crepes that are of course gonna be vegan and I wanna make like a lemon coconut yogurt sweet filling for them, if that makes any sense at all. Completely just hoping that what I'm going to do is going to work because crepes are not something that I make very often, if at all, but this morning I was like, I feel like freshness and I feel like lemon crepes is just like such a fresh, sweet, yummy way to start the day. Okay, what do I need? I need buckwheat flour. of expected the crepes didn't work out <laughs> as I had hoped that they would once again uh, I have turned crepes into pancakes because that's what I do every time my crepe batter doesn't work I just like turn it into a pancake batter so that is what I decided to do today it's looking like a very very 
messy stack of pancakes right now, but hopefully it's gonna be delicious. I just topped it with some coconut yogurt that I mixed with some lemon juice to make like a thinner uh, lemony coconut yogurt uh, to eat with the pancakes. And then I also topped it with some maple syrup and some yellow nectarine. Considering the fact that I completely winged these pancakes, they taste really, really good. So if you watched my recent what I eat in a week video, you may have seen that at the moment I am loving a tahini slaw and that is basically like a coleslaw but with like a tahini dressing instead of like a mayonnaise and I got this idea because there is this cafe in Byron Bay called Folk and they have a tahini slaw in like a nourish bowl and I really enjoyed it and lately yeah I've been loving having it at home I love tahini so much and it's just super easy and quick to make and adds heaps of flavor so like I've mentioned it is very hot on the Gold Coast Coast at the moment and I have been really enjoying having more fresh food and one of my favorite fresh foods to make in the summer for lunch or for dinner is tacos and so today I'm thinking I'm going to make uh, some tacos with some roasted cauliflower as well as tahini slaw and coriander and lime I feel like it'll be really simple but still be packed full of flavor um, which is what I really like from my lunches because I don't like it to always be super overly complicated a lot of the time I'm working from home and I just want to be able to make something in like half an hour that is really nourishing but also really packed full of flavor so the first thing we're going to start with is the cauliflower because that is probably going to take the longest to do the longest to cook something that I do recommend if you are making things at home or if you're someone who is time poor is to make things in advance so you could for example at the beginning of the week roast a bunch of cauliflower and keep it in the fridge make a tahini slaw and keep it in the fridge and that way when you want to make your tacos it's as simple as putting them onto the taco shells adding some coriander or lime or avocado or whatever you want to add and that's just a way more efficient way of doing things so anyway my point is I'm going to roast some cauliflower so let's get into doing that and see what we come up with today okay so I have some leftover cauliflower from earlier in the week I think this is probably like half a head of cauliflower I'm definitely not going to need it all for the tacos today but I'm going to take a piece of my own advice and prep this so that like tomorrow and the next day I can also have these tacos for lunch or dinner or breakfast or <laughs> whatever it is that I am feeling. So I really like to season things in a bowl and like coat things with oil in a bowl because then I feel like it actually coats every side of everything and it just makes everything cook a lot better. So for the cauliflower today, I'm just going to start with some olive oil and I'm gonna toss it so that all of the sides of the cauliflower have oil on and again this is just a way that i feel like roast veggies cook really well i eat roast veggies so much throughout the week and half the time when i'm cooking veggies i literally just put olive oil and salt and maybe a couple of seasonings on and it's just a really really simple way to add flavor to your veggies if you're struggling to eat lots of vegetables and things like that i feel like a really good way is to you know season it with things you like whether that be garlic or onion or chili or whatever um, personally uh, olive oil and salt <laughs> is enough for me today I'm also going to add some nutritional yeast and then I'm also going to add some almond meal which if you've watched my videos recently you might have noticed that I've been using almond meal when I roast veggies a lot and like roast chickpeas and things like that and the reason I like to use almond meal is because I feel like it just adds extra crunch and extra crispiness to my veggies which I love so very much and then of course I'm going to add some salt as well as some pepper okay so putting my cauliflower in the oven Ooh. and I pretty much always roast my veggies on 180 degrees Celsius fan force okay so I have my tahini slaw here which I will leave the measurements for in the description box below if you do want to try making it at home 
Then over here, I also have my lime, coriander, and snow pea sprouts ready to go. I'm also toasting my tortillas over the heat. I just put a little bit of oil in the pan. It's my favorite way to cook um, tacos when I'm making tacos. And then, of course, in here, I have my cauliflower, which is... Oh, my cauliflower is cooking very well in here. It is almost done, which means it is almost time for... Lunch. Okay, I'm very excited to try these tacos because they look delicious. Cheers, my friends. Cheers to tahini slaw cauliflower tacos. <laughs> these tacos are insanely good. So today is Friday and at the moment I'm trying to get myself into the habit of having like a little bit of an admin kind of day on a Friday and what I mean by admin day is I like plan my whole next work week so that when I start work on Monday morning I know um, what I'm doing basically so I don't have to start the week off not knowing what I'm doing and as well as that I try and do things in this time that are going to improve my creative career and just like basically what I'm trying to say is I really try and make time to learn things and do things that are going to um, assist my future self basically and in saying that I really want to talk about a class that I am doing on Skillshare at the moment and of course thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video if you've been watching me for a while you know that I have been using Skillshare for a long while and it has been something that has been really beneficial for me and my creative career if you've never heard of Skillshare before it is essentially an online learning community uh, that encourages you to explore your creativity and learn new skills and find new hobbies and for the most part I have really enjoyed learning a lot about my creativity and different ways that I can do things with my photography and video editing and as well as that I also learned everything I need to know about hosting a podcast um, based on a class that I did on Skillshare as well. So a class that I have been doing recently and also loving recently is called Advanced Video Editing with Adobe Premiere Pro. It's by Geordie Vanderput and uh, yeah it's basically what it sounds like which is advanced video editing with Adobe Premiere Pro. So yeah that's what I'm going to jump into now. I'm going to do about another half hour of learning of the video editing and then I'm going to do a bit of life admin as well. But if you're listening to what I'm saying and you're thinking that you would like to give Skillshare a go I definitely recommend doing so. They have very kindly offered for a limited time the first 1,000 people who click the link in my description box uh, will receive a free trial of the premium membership and after that it's around $10 per month um, and he's definitely a worthwhile investment and yeah I'm gonna get into this stuff that I really need to get done now and then I'm gonna catch up with you because I am going to pre-prepare a really really yummy dessert that I'm going to make for Cara and I tonight so the thing is that I'm truly feeling so good now that I have done all of those things that I needed to do and I'm feeling very very set up for next week which is always a good feeling next week I'm actually gonna film a week in my work life because I get a lot of questions about like what it's like doing YouTube and food blogging and social media management as a job and like being self-employed. So next week I'm gonna try and film a video all about that, but that is not this video. <laughs> this video is what I eat in a day and tonight is Friday night and I'm going to make dessert for myself and for Kara and I'm also gonna make dinner for us as well. Kara is my housemate, she is also vegan and so I love cooking for her. I've been really loving experimenting more with using fruits in my baking and tonight I'm going to make some sort of fruity crumble. I think that I'm gonna do nectarine because I have a whole bunch of nectarines but I might end up mixing it up with some other fruit in there as well. I'm adapting this from an apple crumble recipe that I have been working on so hopefully it will work well with other fruits as well. It is going to be gluten free and refined sugar free so that is very cool and yeah I'm just really stoked to get into the kitchen and get into making this really yummy uh, fruity crumble. So if you couldn't already tell, 
I'm pretty stoked with how this nectarine crumble <laughs> It just doesn't sound as good as apple crumble, does it? <laughs> I'm pretty stoked with how this nectarine crumble has turned out. I think it's going to be even better when I let it sit for a little bit. It'll get nice and crispy on top. I think it's going to be a really yummy dessert. I think Kara is going to be very excited as well. It's 4.30 p.m. right now, so I'm just going to finish up some work that I need to get done for the rest of the day. Going to chill out. I might water my plants, which is something that I have been putting off all week. And then we're going to get into dinner. Um, for dinner tonight, I am going to make rice paper rolls because they're one of Kara's favorites. They're one of my favorites. And overall, they're just a really, really delicious, nourishing fabulous way to end the day although i will say i have been quite disappointed because my favorite chickpea tempeh got discontinued from woolworths and some of you have been noticing like hun you haven't been eating any chickpea tempeh and i'm like i know i just can't find it anywhere and i haven't had rice paper rolls in so long because i don't like tofu and i like to have chickpea tempeh but i can't find chickpea tempeh anyway anyway my point my point is that I'm going to have actual chickpeas in my rice paper rolls tonight and it's probably going to be very messy but a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. Okay dinner is served and tonight like I mentioned we are having rice paper rolls. Here she is. <laughs> very simple but very delicious dinner so in mine I have spinach what? Are you saying simple again? <laughs> you make the most complicated meal in here. Just a very simple quiche with... <laughs> <laughs> Took me three hours to make. <laughs> um, so in my rice paper rolls, I just have some chickpeas, spinach, uh, rice noodles, carrot and cucumber. Have a homemade satay sauce. We're having some kombucha. And Kara has some tofu instead of chickpeas in her rice paper rolls. Yummy! Yummy! Thank you <laughs> so much. Yummy! Well, Ariana, is that you? Okay, so dinner is over, but dessert is served. And we have our nectarine crumble thing. Hi, Eva. Eva. Hi. We have our nectarine crumble thing that is definitely a bit more liquidy than I would prefer it to be, but hopefully it is still going to be delicious. Alrighty, my friends. So that brings us to the end of today and also to the end of today's what I eat in a day video. I will leave any of the recipes that I shared in today's video down in the description box below in case you do want to try them out at home. As always, thank you so much for being here and for supporting me and my YouTube channel. I appreciate it and you so very much. Have a beautiful day and I will see you very soon for another video. Bye! Bye. Oh,